go! All right, today we are heading toward New Zealand's only active marine volcano. This is called White Island and it's just right off the shore of Pakatane. It is so exciting, I just can't wait. It's early morning that we are meeting the team of White Island Tours at the strands of Fakatane, which is basically the harbor of the town. And we are jumping right onto the action by boarding the boat and heading in the waters. Our destination is White Island, which is New Zealand's only active marine volcano. It's situated 49 kilometers off the coast of Fakatane and it takes about an 80 minute boat trip to get there. As we are making our way toward White Island, we're passing other noteworthy islands like Whale Island, which is a beautiful bird sanctuary where a lot of native wildlife resides. But we don't really need to set foot onto the island to start seeing our first wildlife. We see a lot of seabirds alongside our boat, like this beautiful petrel that was flying alongside the boat for a good 30 minutes. And as the sun is getting a little bit higher in the sky, we start getting some beautiful views of White Island. And as soon as we're getting closer, the team is giving us our breathing apparatus, which is going to be those massive gas masks, just because apparently it smells really bad and it makes you cough really, really quickly if you stay on White Island without any breathing protection. But before we onboard the boat, the team quickly reassures us that the fume is not going to harm us. It is harmless and just a little bit of a tickle in the throat. Last September is probably the most nervous I've ever been. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was an ash eruption when we got here. Mm. So we're walking into it and I could definitely feel the nerves yeah. inside me for sure. And after all the passengers of the boats are unloaded with three or four different trips from this little tiny dinghy, we are finally starting our tour. So we're just stepping on the White Island. Doesn't smell too bad. I don't know why it's all about. <laughs> the great thing about White Island is that as soon as you get onto the boat, you step straight onto the active volcano. There's no hiking to do, no crazy strenuous exercise. You are right on the heart of the volcano. And once we arrive there, we are meeting our guide for the tour, which is Kelsey. And she's gonna be taking us around to the highlights of White Island. We've seen so many different landscapes in New Zealand so far and yet again we are stepping onto something else completely different. It feels like we're walking on another planet like it's Mars or something. And the closer we get towards that crater that we're aiming for on this walk, we are seeing loads of different colours in the stones. There's vibrant yellow and green. There's billowing smoke and pools of bubbling mud. It is a pure geothermal wonderland. Along the way, our guide Kelsey is showing us some really cool features and telling us more about the fascinating history of White Island. White Island is around 200,000 years old, but the bit that we're stood on right now is only about 16,000 years old. We get close-up viewings of those steaming vents and the closer we get towards the crater, the steam gets thicker and thicker until it gets to the point where it's getting a little difficult to breathe and we realize exactly why we need to wear those gas masks. Oh, we're in the, in the <coughs> crater. Shit. The wrong thing. That is quite irritating. Woo. All right, let's try again. Where are we right now? <laughs> we are in the middle of an active marine volcano, and we can really feel it. <laughs> so they told us it was a little bit irritating and uh, on the <coughs> on the throat, <coughs> and it <laughs> and it is. <laughs> Another really good technique to deal with this tickling throat sensation that we're having throughout our whole tour on White Island is to suck on some really hard candies. And for that reason, our guides are actually carrying a huge bag of lollies and keep on feeding us ton of candies. So if you're not coming here for the marvelous, wonderful geothermal activity, you're coming here for the free lollies. Alongside the lollies, there is also heaps of amazing pictures opportunities alongside our tour. And it's really awesome how our guides are actually stopping along the way almost every step. So we get the time to take some pictures. It's a really chilled out tour, full of amazing insight and taking really the time for us to enjoy it. 
And speaking about enjoying the tour, we are arriving at my favorite part of this entire tour. This is when we're facing the main of the crater and where the views get much, much, much grander and there is so much to look at. We literally stay here a good 15 minutes while listening to the insight from our guides and taking in the views and taking about a million pictures. While standing on the edge of this crater, we can see ton of things like the beautiful green lace which is full of sulfur which give it that really interesting tone. There is ton of different colors, all this yellow, there is heaps of smoke, it makes the whole thing feel really eerie, like an alien movie. And as we're pulling ourselves away from the crater, Kelsey, our guide, is telling us about a recent eruption. We had a minor eruption, and you can see the big impact crater that it left. So yeah, it came out in April, it's a minor eruption. Not even a big one. The whole trip on the island takes about an hour and 30 minutes and on the way back as we're looping back to where we started we take the time to take things a little bit slower so we can ask our guides a few questions about the island as well as take loads and loads of photos. And Leroy is taking again some more pictures and some more pictures and even some more pictures. This place is absolutely amazing. This White Island tour is a really hands-on experience. As well as feeling all the steam in our face, we've been holding some volcanic rock. We're now about to taste the volcano. Huh? Taste it, don't drink it. Right, why not? God damn, it's really hot. It's actually boiling. Ah, fuck, it tastes disgusting. <laughs> Yum, volcano juice. Moving on to the final section of our tour on White Island, we see some really eerie remains of a sulfur mining plant which has survived several eruptions since it was built here in the 1930s. Our guides tell us that people actually used to live on the island when they were mining for sulfur to use in fertilizer and use that on crops and gardens. But for us, we are coming to the end of our trip now, getting back into those little dinghies and back onto the boat. But before we leave White Island for good, a few people take the opportunity to go for a dip. In fact, White Island is a very popular scuba diving place. There is a lot of underwater vents and a very unique underwater landscape to be explored like nowhere else in New Zealand. Just before we head off, we've been giving our complimentary lunch, which is really good. It's all in a little box and there is sandwiches, there is cake, there is fruit. It's just awesome. And before we leave the island for good, we actually do a last round around the island while listening to the commentary of the crew catch a last glimpse of White Island before starting to make our way toward Fakatane. But because White Island is a gift that keeps on giving, the surrounding waters of the islands are populated with heaps of awesome dolphins! And of course the dolphins just can't resist in coming to play on the bow of our boat. This bunch of common dolphins, named common dolphins because they are the most popular kind of dolphins around New Zealand, are super playful. They are playing with each other, they are actually trying to outrace the boat and we can hear them communicate with each other. We hear all the noises, even from the top on the boat. And while we're playing with the dolphins, the crew is actually telling us that the boat just behind us radioed them and told them that they just seen some waves. So who knows what you will be able to see when you do this tour. But that wraps up our tour with White Island Tours. That was absolutely awesome and a truly unique place to visit in New Zealand. We are now making our way toward the town of Rotorua where we're going to be spending almost two weeks exploring the area and there is ton of activities to do there. So once our car is cleaned, we are hitting the road toward the central North Island for the next round of our adventure. Don't miss it and subscribe now! So these are our boarding buses to get onto the boat. So... As you can see, they're really old milk <laughs> Yeah, and then you can see they are old milk filters. So I'm going to go and hand these in. 